So Dave, uh, we know that storytelling technique is very much important for job seekers when they're applying for a job or when they're going for the interview because mostly they will get a behavioral question asking them, tell me about a time when you did a project or when you had a conflict with coworkers. So how can job seekers utilize the storytelling techniques to answer those questions in your opinion? Um, I, and by the way, I think the anecdotes or stories are so critical. One is keep the story on point. Tell me about a time when things didn't go well. Here's the time. Make it short. Make it quick. Um, try to find the lesson in the story so it's not an isolated event to say things didn't go well and here's how I handled that. And and try to frame your story in terms of what that might mean for you as an employee. Yeah. Um, I had a client. Uh, it didn't go well. They ended up firing me because I didn't engage as well as I should have back to where I started. When I dug into that, I realized I didn't listen very well. Yes. And I've really tried in my other client engagements to listen better so that yes. the story leads to an outcome that the, that the employer would be interested in. Yeah. And then I think it's really fair for an interviewee person being interviewed to ask, tell me a story that captures you, the interviewer, experienced in this company. So that it's not about my story, Meher or yeah. Dave, it's about your story as the interviewer, Sally or Mary or Jonathan. Yes. Tell me about your story in this company. I want to make sure that that my gifts and my talents will match the story that you've created here. Yes. Those are great tips, Dave, again. And I feel that uh, the job seekers should also be prepared, check the company and what they are doing, and then come up with those stories also. Look, I read an article that you guys are doing, or I saw that you guys do something about your culture. Make those connections so that uh, the, the, the recruiter or whoever is interviewing will feel that you did your job and you are prepared. Well said, well said. Okay. Again. So I'm going to ask you a question. I know you've asked me some. When you get, and I don't know anyone in the world that doesn't get discouraged at times. When you get discouraged at times, what can you do to be less discouraged? What it, what works for you? I would say lately it's just walking near uh, the English Bay and just having relaxing and just have reflection on the water, the the sounds of the water, it calms me down. And in my mind, sometimes I go over the scenario, what happened, what could have done differently so that I can learn from that experience. And I feel that with those uh, things that I'm doing lately, it's making me more reflective and more valuing myself and knowing what I can bring to a table when I go to other interviews. Boy, that's really nice, Meher. I think that Sometimes I think distraction is good. Yes. Uh, I know in the 90s when I get discouraged, I go watch an episode of an American TV show called Seinfeld. Yes. It's not intellectually stimulating, but I just was able to distract myself. Or in Vancouver, and we've talked about this, I've, I've walked, and I'm not able to right now for health reasons, but I've walked around Stanley Park. Yes. You know, what a, the ocean, the scenery. And, and I'm not, I'm not here to impose anyone else's. You'll find your own way. I hope it doesn't have to do with drugs and alcohol. That may not be the best way, but, but find a way to distract yourself that allows you to, to see what's good. Yes. And to see the beauty of nature, to see the, just the fun and creativity in life. And, and I think those things help us renew ourselves in wonderful ways. Yeah. And just be also, as you mentioned in the first question, just be thankful what we have our health, our family, you know, small things that really uh, sometimes we neglect them and we always compare ourselves to others. We feel that we should be very thankful and content what we have. Of course, we want to be better. Of course, we want to be successful, but take baby steps or things. Uh, not everyone maybe is done, is, uh, is destined to be big like Oprah or other people, you know, uh, and just be content what we have and do baby steps to, 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 to distinguish yourself or maybe small hustle project that what I'm doing is like, this is a hustle project for me to give tips to job seekers. And then it, it opened me doors to interview so many people and like you, Dave, and I'm hoping that uh, everyone can find what makes them happy. And those tips hopefully help someone in their job search. 
I think that's great advice. Great advice. Great advice. Thank you, Dave.